Hello dear ones, B is back. <laughs> back with another little video and I uh, I can tell you that life is very interesting and very exciting and I think you will all have the same experience and um, I often make plans and think I want to come on uh, more regularly and then I um, do this deep work that I do and I thought I'd talk about this today. My journey <clears throat> of waking up to, let's say, empowering myself, waking up to the fact that there is so much that I can do for myself to get better, um, to release the blocks that trigger me. Um, let's say things like jealousy, like judging other people or doubts and self-doubts. All these are blocks and these blocks are in our system. They are experiences we have had in this life and it's not all from this life. I can tell you this as well. And to those who have a difficult time to perceive of reincarnation and things like that, I can say, look, I've been exactly there myself. There was um, years back um, when I had no idea, firstly, reincarnation existed. Secondly, when I heard about it, I had severe doubts over years and years and years. And with my own experiences about learning about myself, listening to my thoughts, uh, dropping into my heart, which means following my intuition, I learned loads of things for myself that I <clears throat> know they are true for me. So anyway, I'm talking about blockages. In the end, it is not necessary that we hold any belief about something that whether this is true or not true. We can still work on our blocks on blockages. And so I've done a lot over the years and I keep saying that in all my videos, I know. Um, but it's a little bit like, you know, when you 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 get a, a piece of land or you buy a house and there is your back garden and um, it's grown wild and <clears throat> you decide to grow something there whether it's veg or flowers or whatever you go out and you dig you dig your garden and while you dig like it may be really fun and it is really fun and then uh, at the end of the day, you feel all your muscles are sore, your neck and everything. And although you have decided to go back tomorrow, you probably won't because your muscles are so sore. So you realize you have to process, you have to allow your body to come back to normal. And um, maybe in two days time or three days time, you go back and you do more, you dig more. And, you know, with digging, you find things, you find rocks, you find plants, you find um, roots that you think they're not really beneficial for what you're going to do with the land. And this is how I feel about my own life. <clears throat> I have in recent times done so many different things and I've been led to find people that absolutely resonate with me or I resonate with them the way they think the, th the way they uh, work and that is always an indication for me to keep in contact and to do the work with them or learn from what they do and continue working on myself now this is the important part I have always been one that was looking for self-empowerment. When I saw people doing things and uh, selling their methods or their tools or their things, like even from a from a young age, I thought, I, I can do this myself. I can do this myself. And I tried to figure out how to create these tools or, you know, things for the household or whatever you needed. And also to go into these spaces like 
let's say breathing why that was my way why would I go on a long retreat which I had no means to even pay for <clears throat> when I can try and do my own breathing exercises it may not be exactly the same not as sophisticated and um, well done in the beginning but I can start I can start and this is what I did I did it step by step by step it has been a long and slow journey but you know the way it is when you when you push a cart up up the hill is really really hard and the higher you get the harder it is because your muscles are sore your legs go weak and you know like you feel like oh my god I can't keep up anymore but once you and you go slower you definitely go slower towards the end when you you have reached the, the top of the hill before you reach it and then when you reach the top then there is a plateau for some time, which is beautiful because you just look around you, all the way around you, and you just see so much you have never seen before. Firstly, you haven't been on the top of the hill. And secondly, <coughs> excuse me, I have this cough. Um, secondly, you have been doing your work, which means pushing the card so you couldn't look around. All you needed to do is like concentrate on the card that it doesn't move backwards, which means that's my work that I, I'm talking about. I concentrate on, let's say, my breath work. I concentrate on my mind. What am I thinking? I concentrate on the emotions that are coming up currently for me. And so I can't look around. And to just have that... Um, short um, diversion here like I have a lot of emotions being triggered recently like huge and when I work on them I see that they're very ancient they are archetypal things things that are not definitely not from this lifetime I act upon them or have acted upon them like self-doubt a lot in my life this life definitely but they come up in such a massive way, especially the last few weeks, that I'm like, whoa. And because I have met recently the, um, the people and I've found the tools to work with this, I have been working on this. So I'm now coming back to the card, right? So we've pushed it up to the top of the hill, which means in terms of what I want to to explain is for me that I've reached an, um, a, an amount of knowledge or a reconnection into my heart space. I think that's the better way to say it. So I have a reconnected into my heart space where all the knowledge is because the heart space is the direct connection up to the source of everything. Like there is what they call, whatever they call it, Akashic or whatever it is. But you connect via your heart space to the knowledge and the wisdom of everything. Anyway, it doesn't mean we, <laughs> we get them all the time. It's just that for our learning, whatever is, whatever is ready, whatever is ready in that library, we can access. So I have come to kind of a, a plateau. And I'm not saying that there is not maybe like a dip where I like go down with my um, my cart because that's what I'm going to explain now. So I've reached so much. Now it's going slightly down um, on the on the path, not downhill, like in the, in the way that I'm losing things. No, it, it's 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 a softer journey because I've 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 loads of connecting points. I've loads of links. I. I've reference points that I haven't had before. So I'm moving forward much easier, much easier. And um, I've been doing this. I, I'm not sure if I'm up on the top of the hill, but what I notice that I incorporate faster. So maybe that is an indication. I really have to sit with this and find out for myself. 
But what I find is that even though I may get triggered really hard in recent, let's say at least three weeks uh, severely, um, <clears throat> and I thankfully have the tools, so I work on it. So even though I have these huge triggers, I get into them very quickly because I kind of say, okay, here's my tool. Like this is my tool for reading. <laughs> whatever else I have in place and I work with this and my offer to all of you is if you want to use tools so that you can help yourself you are so welcome to connect with me now I have been planning um, more work like um, group calls and group sessions in in this area I haven't set them up yet due to the YouTube of processing that I went through. So the moment when I release my blocks, my whole system has to adjust. So I feel that expansion literally. And it's really hard for you, I do understand, to um, to have a um, an idea of what it means when I talk about that expansion. But I may say if you, let's say, go to your wardrobe and you really have a hard look, and take out, let's say, 50, 25% of your clothes and just really take them out, they're going to go. And then you open it again, that feeling. You all know that feeling. This is how I feel when I talk about expansion. So you have to get used to it. Remember how that is. Every single time you open your wardrobe, you're like, oh, wow, this feels good. Wow, this feels good. So you're sitting <clears throat> and enjoying that new space that you have, which is really, really good and very appropriate. So I've been between sitting in this kind of beautiful space that I created for myself with the tools I found and with the people that helped me to use the tools. And at the same time, it seems I get triggers for deeper layers of what wants to be seen, acknowledged and integrated. And this is where I am at at the moment. So I, um, I may have done a lot of work, but I do know really, really, really well how this feels when you're in the stages where the trigger comes in, where the emotional pain is there, where the judging is there. Like I have a lot of judging coming up for me recently. I do not think that I have so much judging thoughts had for a long time. So they're coming up for release. And I've done just um, a very, very deep job on releasing uh, judgment because that's related to unworthiness uh, last night. So I'm still in the process of kind of, I'm not even fully um, sitting in that joy and bliss. I do, but I also feel there is still like getting used to it, getting used to how how this feels not to have this is really interesting. It's like having a new home or a new car and you every time you go in and you're kind of, ah, oh, where is everything? Like, you know, this kind of orientation. So I'm in that phase still from last night. <laughs> anyway, I just want to give you an update where I am and why I do my videos sporadically whenever I feel the energy is strong enough and it, it, it can be done. It can be done. It's not, I have to. Sometimes I feel driven to do it. Like I sat down because I felt the, 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 the need and I thought I was ready for it. But uh, I won't force myself. I won't force myself. It's no point to force myself. I've done that too long in my life and there's no point. So in saying this, I don't know how many people subscribe to my channel, but you can. And I'm not even counting it because I trust that whoever needs to find my voice and my videos will. And I share them on um, on Facebook and with people that I know so that they may look at it and find something. And if they don't, that is fine, too. So whatever I say, please just take what resonates with you. Let it sit if you can, the stuff that it causes friction in you. I have been in that place myself very often when I heard things like I am talking now about years back and I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't know, that's far out there. 
and maybe years back, years later, and sometimes weeks or months later, depending. I suddenly found that, let me say that piece of, of the puzzle, that fits. And then the information I thought was so weird would absolutely perfectly make sense. So for everyone who has done a puzzle before and remembers that you pick up this one part and you always think, oh, it's blue, it's blue. It needs to go there where the water is. This needs to go. You never thought of it needs to go maybe there where the sky is. And the moment you put it there and it fits, you're like, wow. And then you try to find it again and you can't. You can't find it again anymore. You have no idea where it is because it's integrated. It's becoming part of you or it has become part of you. Like, and that's, that's what happens in these processes. So take what, you, what resonates. Don't take any offense. I'm not here to offend anyone. I'm here to embrace life. I have my own struggles. I have always struggled a lot, but I'm determined not to, <laughs> to struggle anymore. So I get my triggers. I get my insights. I get my frictions. I get my challenges. But I look at them differently today um, after doing so much work. So I invite you to, uh, to subscribe to my channel so you will find my videos because I can't say I'm doing one every whatever. What is it? Thursday today, every Thursday. This is not how I work. Um, you will find me on Facebook. I do some Instagram. Instagram, I really enjoy uh, putting the pictures out and I find in nature I love nature I love the elements and I like to share that there sometimes some messages there as well and yeah and 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 I live in Dublin in Ireland so I meet a lot of people here as well in real life face to face and um, I like to see you if you wish in one of my um sessions that we do together in which we gather to work on our blocks together and when I work with people it is paramount for me that whoever is in the call or in the zoom room I do zoom me meetings does not have to feel pain again because the, the fear of having to feel the emotional pain again is the one thing that holds us all back from moving forward and healing it because we don't want to feel the pain and this is what I work on <clears throat> I don't want you to feel the pain again I want you to see there is tools that you can use to release your pain to integrate that puzzle part that kind of emotion gently just with love it's not just saying love but we do it gently Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Oh my God, I've talked much longer again. But from the bottom of my heart, all the very best. I love you dearly. I'm so, so blessed to be able to do this work that I learned how to use the technology that I am learning still to use all the, the technicalities about it. I still learn every single day something new. And there's always people who help me. Sometimes I figure it out myself. So it's a it's a really <laughs> beautiful process. I wish you all the most beautiful day. And I send all my blessings and love your way. And I'm there for you. So please reach out anytime you feel you need to speak to someone who has seen a lot herself and who is moving forward, paddling through the waters of life and um, has more and more joy every day. That's what I have. I have actually more and more joy, even though I may be exhausted and tired at some time, at some stage. And I had to take off like uh, a, a full day this week. I just, I was unable to move. My body wasn't doing it. I was so tired. I just, whenever I woke up, I fell asleep again. It was part of my integration. You know, I did have some physical symptoms like nausea and like my gut wasn't really working that nicely and um, uh, dizziness and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, this is going to this is going to go within a day or two, you know, and then you find back again and, you know, you have your balance back. Much, much love and thank you for being you, which is the most important. 
Bye.